Hello everyone. So recently I've been asked uh, how to type this example um, where you have li this little under brace. So uh, I've typed this out in Word and this is all using um, the built-in syntax in, in Word um, other than one custom uh, shortcut that I uh, just help for for speeding up to create an equation. So I'll demonstrate how that's done. Um, it's very simple. Uh, so here are the instructions. I'll just follow that and show you how you can type this. Uh, first, let's create the equation environment. Um, I use the, um, the uh, custom keyboard shortcut of that. Uh, so I'll just bring this here. Sorry for that. I'll just put this up here. So this is the equation I want to create. Okay, so uh, I do command equal equal. That gives me the equation. Um, then let me just type this left hand side out. Okay, so now I'm ready to create this under brace. Um, so we basically use two functions, the under brace function and also the below function. Um, so we'll start with the under brace. Um, just remember in Word, uh, you type the thing you want. Um, you type the symbol you want first and then um, uh, open brackets and then whatever you want later. Uh, so we want this integral over here. So you can look at the other videos in the playlist um, about how to type integrals. So we can do that. Um, another space gives me the three dots then another integral sign. I want this time a uh, x naught over here, and also an x. Uh, oops, sorry, that it should be zero. I think I made a mistake over here. I'm trying to reproduce equation three. So zero on the lower bound and x on the upper bound. Uh, so that provides that. Um, to get rid of the little box, just hit another space, um, close the brackets. That's what I want to go on top of this under brace. So all I need to do is hit another space, and you'll see the magic happens like that. So now I've created this under brace. Um, I still need to insert an N or whatever you want in, on the bottom. You can make anything. You can make something really long as well if you want. Um, uh, of this side, as you can see, it's type in LaTeX. This side is type in Word uh, using Unicode um, over here. Uh, you can do LaTeX as well, but we're in Unicode. All right, so how do you get the little N? Uh, we use the below function. So um, I do below and open brackets, uh, N, like that, close brackets, um, and space. Uh, there we go. So now um, I need to use the right arrow w once. Uh, sorry, no. Um, yes, I'm here. That's fine. Um, if you use the right arrow, I'll be outside of the equation environment, as you can see. So when I type something, it shrinks and becomes uh, in line. That's not what I want. So I want to make sure my cursor is still inside here. I'll give myself a little space uh, before I type fx. Um, and another space over here before I type the dx. Um, just a bonus tip, as you can see, um, I, if something is simple, I don't uh, need to actually do the open round brackets and close round brackets. Uh, as you can see in my bonus tip, you can just type the n. So I'll show you how that works. Um, so first, uh, let's create the under brace. Um, this dx I do need. Uh, it takes a little bit a while to get used to what needs uh, brackets, what doesn't. But the uh, n, as you can see, oops, below n, and all I have to do is hit space, and the magic happens. There you go. So that's how you can type that. Just a little tip as well. This is not how I usually type everything, um, because the beauty of Word is what you see is what you get. So this is extra bonus tip, or bonus tip number two, is I build it up as I go. So um, I would type this first. And sometimes, instead of typing everything in a streamlined code, this is the beauty of it, you don't need to know in advance under brace what you need to go in here, right? So what I usually do if I go back is I just, I need I know I need a under brace, so I type the under brace first, um, and then I just do space. I, I don't even open the brackets, I just do space, show you what happens. Now, the magic is if you do space again, you see this is the power of what you see is what you get program. Uh, it creates a little box. I can use the left arrow, right? Um, if I just go back here, my cursor was here. But uh, look, if I use the left arrow, uh, it brings me in here. Then I'm free to type whatever I like over here, right? So I type int uh, space, it gives me the symbol. If I type one more space, you see it opens up this little box. Um, so now inside this box, I can type, uh, what do I want? I want a dot of dot, um, and uh, so on, right? Uh, so you can sort of take advantage of, uh, you can take advantage of the what you see is what you get program by creating these little boxes first. Um, it didn't quite create the box that I want. Um, maybe if I do this, uh, no, uh, maybe it's inside a, <laughs> it's inside a, a brace already. Uh, normally I can just do this and, uh, oh, maybe not. Um, Maybe I was wrong. Okay, uh, sometimes you can just create um, an empty box first. That's what I was hoping I can do with the limits, but uh, no, uh, I have to actually fill in the fill in the limits um, of A and B like that before I hit space. But that's fine. Um, but yeah, so this is how you can do it. Um, you can do something. You can even do a vector over here inside, right? Uh, make sure your cursor is in there. Then I can uh, create, for example, 
a vector. Um, an easy way is you can just do enter. Uh, that will give you um, vectors. If I undo, I can do that. Or if I want a matrix, um, then I can create my matrix like this. Right? So that's a 3 by 3 matrix in here. Um, and then once I got out over here, uh, I can do below. Um, again, if I don't know what I want below, um, I can just hit space twice. Right? So one time it will give me this symbol that tells me I'm going to insert something below. Uh, one more time, it'll create the little box below here. So I can create a whole new um, vector or matrix if I want, right? So um, this is all possible. Um, and sometimes if I just want to type a text, I can use uh, the double quotes, remember? So I can say uh, this is a matrix. This looks like uh, italics text. Uh, but if as soon as I close the quotations and hit space, it becomes proper text, right? So I can say this is a matrix and uh, fill this in um, like this as well. Obviously, I need to fix my left-hand side to be I, right? So you can use um, double quotes to create uh, words like this. Um, you can have underline to um, to create something, oops, uh, maybe it's double underline, I'll look that up later. Um, yeah, so these are things you can do or um, or even what was I going to say? Uh, uh, yeah, in the states, uh, it's uh, it's common to use a thicker I, so you can do double I um, for your uh, unit matrix, something like that. Um, if you, as soon as you create a PDF, these little box would just disappear; they won't show up. If uh, that bothers you in edit mode, um, what I do is I just hit the space. Um, that will make them go away. You can of course fill in with zero as well. So okay, so these are all um, how you can type this repeated um, integral with these under braces. You can use uh, upper uh, braces as well. Um, the way to find out these, I don't some, I, sometimes I don't remember everything. So um, you can find that out for yourself uh, as long as you go over here. For example, you find a under brace, um, hover over it. Uh, it'll tell you uh, the name of it. Most of the time, just do a backslash and that function um, right tilde uh, checks um, acute. Dot. You can you can just do a slash uh, backslash and then um, and then these symbols uh, then a lot of time not always but a lot of time oh over brace it's called right uh, a lot of times you can uh, find these functions all right so hope this is useful um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments um, otherwise uh, give me a like and I'll see you guys next time.